Hi, Rapid Films here. Today I am going to recap the action thriller movie from the year 2021 titled Girl in the Basement. Let's begin. A teenage girl named Mari who is having breathing difficulties is being cuddled by a woman in the back seat of a car and being rushed to a hospital by a male driver. After getting down at the hospital and while carrying the girl inside, the man warns the woman saying not a word. Next, we see a family eating at a table. Dawn and his wife, Rainy, are raising two daughters, Amy and Sarah. Sarah is rebellious and sneaks out to dance at a bonfire with her motorcycle riding boyfriend. His name is Chris and he also plays the guitar. He sings Sarah a song and tells her that he loves her. When Sarah comes home to next morning, Dawn is pissed and screams at his daughter. He says as long as she lives in his house, she will follow his rules. Sarah makes plans with Amy and Rainy to move out on her own when she becomes 18. Dawn overhears the conversation and preps his bomb shelter in the basement. He plans to lock his daughter inside so she cannot leave him. While Rainy is out shopping, Dawn asks Sarah to help him move stuff in the basement. Then he locks her in and soundproofs the room. She is literally trapped in a bomb shelter and has no way out. The bin is full of clothing. We get a day count. Hunter. This is day one of many, many more to come. Sarah is living like a caged animal. The keypad has three tries before shutting down the air circulation. Sarah uses pots to piss in and takes every opportunity to scream for help and fight to be freed. Dawn tells her that she will earn her privileges and is being punished for her behavior. Then he rapes his own daughter. Rennie thinks her daughter has run away and calls the police. Dawn and Rennie talk with the police who think Sarah is run away and there isn't much they can do because she is 18. Day 7. Sarah is bruised. She thinks of Chris to get herself through the trauma she is experiencing. Ironically, Chris shows up to question Dawn but where Sarah is. Dawn lies and says she ran off with another man named Stevie. Day 21. Dawn goes downstairs, forces Sarah to put on a red dress, gives her a birthday cake and asks her what she wants. She says she wants to be released, to which he says that it is too early. Then she asks for a TV, to which he says she has to earn it. Then she asks for a clock. He agrees and asks her to come closer. Probably she gets raped again. Day 38. The next time he comes down, she is ready and attacks him with a makeshift weapon. But he easily avoids the attack and beats her and probably rapes her again. Fast forward from day 39 to day 354. Sarah is pregnant with her father's child her sister. She delivers her baby with no medical assistance or proper medical hygiene. She is using a nursing book to prepare for the baby. She names the baby Mary. Four years later, Sarah is raising her daughter and she is also pregnant again. They are all locked in basement together and only have one another. Sarah seems calm down and talks with Don, even offering him tea once he visits. Don has got a promotion and tells that he is going to have a new office. He also has provided her with some basic necessities such as table, cupboards and mattress etc. Sarah asks him whether he could release them to which he responds angrily but he later provides them with a TV as a Christmas present. Year 7 Sarah has given birth to a son named Michael and all are living in the basement. The daughter Mary seems to be sick and don't provide some pills but Sarah says they are not for kids and does not know what the dosage would be. She demands Mary needs a doctor but Dawn just leaves. Chris still is looking for Sarah and shares with Emmy the lies he heard from Dawn about Sarah eloping with Stevie. Emmy admits that her father has been abusive with her mother and thinks that Dawn did something to her sister. Then she confronts Dawn and accuses him of doing something. Rennie wants to go to a private investigator which sets Dawn off. They argue and Dawn drops his basement keys. Emmy picks them up and snoops around the basement only to be caught by an aggressive Dawn. Sarah has her third baby and convinces Dawn to leave the baby on the doorstep with a note from her asking to take care of her newborn baby. Dawn leaves the baby for Rennie to find. He finds a smaller note Sarah left asking her mom to 
call the police because she is trapped in the basement. 14 years. The children Mary and Michael are grown up. They have social anxiety from being locked in a basement bunker their whole lives. They do not understand how horrible the situation they are in really is. 17 years. In the basement lockup, they notice a leak in the ceiling and start digging their way out with a spoon. Meanwhile, Rainy has some bonding time with grandson Thomas. Sarah spends all night digging. She is also pregnant again. The hole leads to the front yard and she flashes a light signaling a neighbor for help. When the neighbor goes to the front door and tells Dawn, he goes downstairs and beats his pregnant daughter, causing her to miscarry. 18 years in captivity. Dawn fills Sarah in about her other son, living just above them, named Thomas. He uses Thomas to turn Mary and Michael against their mother. They demand to be let out, and Sarah can't take it. She freaks out and collapses on the floor, crying. She thinks for her boyfriend, Christopher, and the love he showed her. Sarah tells her children the truth about Dawn. The kids understandably are overwhelmed. Mary is asthmatic and has trouble breathing due to limited air supply in the basement. 19 years, Dawn comes down to the basement and has an argument with Sarah about rationing food. Michael gets angry and tries to beat up Dawn. That only makes him angrier. Above ground, Dawn isn't doing so great either. He constantly fights with his wife, is fired from his job, and his house is in foreclosure. He is tired of making care of Sarah and the kids and funnels carbon monoxide into the basement by keeping the car started. Air vents with a horse while they sleep. Thomas catches Dawn in the garage and wonders what his grandfather is doing. Dawn has a change of heart and doesn't kill them. He goes to the basement to check on them and we see that they are okay and still sleep. 20 years. Mary has breathing problems and has an asthma attack so bad that she needs medical attention. Sarah begs Dawn to take them to the hospital and she even calls him dad. He rushes them to the ER. It is the same scene we saw at the start of the film. Doctors fight to save Mary. Elizabeth, Rome, plays a concerned doctor and asks about Mary's medical history. Sarah asks to go to the bathroom and Dawn refuses to let her go. She spills water on Dawn's paperwork and makes her way to get help while he gets a new form. Sarah tells the doctor everything. Dawn is arrested and put away for life. Rennie is horrified to learn that truth about what happened to her daughter at her husband's hand in her own house. The family all move in together. Motorcycle Chris shows up and takes Sarah out for a picnic. They talk about their teenage plans for the future and Chris apologizes for not trying harder to find Sarah. Then they go for a ride together. The movie ends here. Subscribe for more interesting movie recaps.